Mathematical Miracles in the Holy Quran God taught the Holy Quran to the angel Gabriel, who then taught it to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, who then taught it to his companions. It is imperative to know that Muslims recorded the revelation as it was taught to them by Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, over 23 years. The Holy Quran was revealed passage by passage, orally. It did not come down in written form. After the book was compiled, it was apparent that the Holy Quran consisted of a deep mathematical structure and design that only God could have achieved. The Holy Quran contains many mathematical miracles, or presumed coincidences that cannot be mere coincidences. Among the many mathematical miracles outlined in the Holy Quran is the mention of the word day 365 times which is the same time it takes the Earth to complete a single orbit around the Sun. The plural of the word is used 30 times within the text, representing the number of days in a typical month. The word month is used 12 times in this same text. The words man and woman are mentioned 24 times each, and sometimes in different contexts. The word dunya, the world we live in, is mentioned 115 times and the word that references the hereafter is mentioned 115 times. Again, God did not reveal the Holy Quran entirely at once. It was revealed to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, through Angel Gabriel orally, piece by piece, over 23 years. A human could never compile the Holy Quran brimming with a bounty of mathematical miracles in 23 years. These are only a few of the many miracles found in the Holy Quran. These miracles, along with many others found in the text, show a deliberate order in the Holy Quran. All of the presumed mathematical coincidences cannot be, in fact, coincidences. Unlike the modern-day Bible, which contains thousands of contradictions due to its excessive modifications and insertions from human hands, the Holy Quran boasts perfect consistency and contains zero contradictions, even though this more than 600-page book speaks of many complex topics such as theology, law, legal problems, peace and war, marriage and divorce, economics, child custody, inheritance, etc. God states that if this book were written by anyone else, the text undoubtedly would contain many contradictions. Given the fact that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was an unlettered man who did not know how to read or write and lived in the desert, he could not have authored the Holy Quran as it is written, at a high literacy level of the Arabic language, containing no errors, contradictions, or inconsistencies. Then do they not reflect upon the Quran? If it had been from any other than Allah, they would have found within it much contradiction. Quran, chapter 4, verse 82. The Holy Quran contains perfect consistency and is free of contradictions even though it was revealed orally over 23 years. The Holy Quran challenges anyone who doubts the book's divine origins to produce another sacred text equal in merit, one that matches its eloquence, power, style, language, etc. Allah made it clear that no one will be able to produce anything comparable to the Holy Quran, another prophecy of the Holy Quran that is true. And if you are in doubt about what we have sent down upon our servant, Muhammad, then produce a sirah the like thereof, and call upon your witnesses other than Allah if you should be truthful. Quran, chapter 2, verse 23.